Y'all give it up for Rob for that piss poll introduction. He could have just asked me, I would have wrote something down. I mean, we Facebook friends, you could have done a little bit better. Uh, give it up to the band. They have the best seat in the house. Enjoy that back there. Let's have a good time with that back there. I really, I really want to um, congratulate Rod on having an idea, you know what I'm saying, and doing something. So y'all get for real. I, I mean, I'm going to give it up to Rod's wife. It's hard, it's hard, hard to support somebody with a dream. I know. I ain't got nobody, but I would assume it'd be hard for me to support him. Uh, <laughs> dream? Why would you do that? Don't <laughs> I think of like, you know, everybody loves Barack Obama, but really think about Michelle, right? Yeah. This man ain't no black person close to being black ever been president. He'd wake up one day and say, baby, think about running for president. <laughs> and she said, okay, boo, let's try it out, you know? <laughs> Y'all know, most of us, if our man said, I'm thinking about running for president, it's like, why don't you just run in there and run the bathwater? <laughs> run out there and take out the trash. Like, you know, let's just, that's some change I can believe in. President, I don't know. <laughs> So I'm saying, support your man. <laughs> that's, that's, that's hard to do sometimes. I, I'm joking. I, I, I could support my man if I could just get one. You know? Whatever he wanted to do, I'd be like, yes, boo, you coming back, though? OK. Yes. <laughs> do that. I do live here now. I moved here from Birmingham. And um, I was doing a show uh, downtown Atlanta. And I had this great show. And people wanted to meet me after the show and talking to me. And I was so excited. And this one guy, you know, it was like my first groupie experience, I thought, you know. And um, he was like, wow, you know, like you say, you're, you just moved here? And I was like, yeah. He was like, where are you from? I said, I moved here from Birmingham. He's like, wow, you really single? I'm like, I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> yes, I'm really single. He said with a straight face, he's like, wow, because you're like gorgeous for Birmingham. <laughs> so I didn't know if that was about me or my whole city. So. That's how it goes sometimes. I'm used to it. Wait, Deacon, you talking through my show? No, no, I'm talking through my show. Are you from Birmingham? Yeah, man. I know it's somebody else from Birmingham. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. <laughs> Okay, that's still the same. Okay, okay, y'all from Alabama. Okay, can we do this after after the show? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that later. This isn't the seminar portion of the uh, show just just yet. Um, <laughs> he mentioned my name. My name is Eunice. I met someone who works here. She's like, my mama named Eunice. I was like, okay, you know. Anyway. <laughs> So, I, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, I actually, um, it's not that funny. It's, it's, I'm saying that's my real name. So I got to leave out of here with the name and, you know, feel okay about it. Um, but no, I was named after my grandma, and, um, you know, it was hard, you know, being a, you know, eight-year-old Eunice. <laughs> Trying to explain that on the playground. Uh, you know, you start getting a little bit older, you know, junior high, high school, you start liking boys, you know, and my friends have really cute, sexy names like Lisa and Kim and Tarantula. Uh, I'm so jealous. And um, they would get notes from the boys and say, you know, do you like me, yes or no, you know? And I would get notes that said, what in the world is a Eunice? So, still working through that. When I first started performing, everybody told me I need to come up with something better than Eunice. You know, I actually had somebody ask me one time, he was like, is that a stage name? I'm like, I, I would make that up? Like, no. I mean, if I survived as an eight-year-old Eunice, I might as well just ride this thing on out now to see what happens. And um, so far, my plan is working because when y'all go home, y'all go Google Eunice, right? And I'm going to be like the hottest one to come up because the rest of them died like 19. <laughs> Not that many, no. So, go by one name now. So. <laughs> Madonna, Beyonce, Oprah, Eunice. <laughs> and you'll tell somebody you saw her here at the um, Public Access Theater of uh, Decatur. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's one of those 
things you talk about on Facebook or Twitter. Like, you couldn't even find parking for this show I'm doing tonight. And then you get here, he's like, oh, that's not for this. Oh, they got another one. <laughs> Because it's on Twitter, they brought in extra chairs, even though it's a whole row or two or three. They brought in more chairs in the back. I know I'm on the right track. It's, you know what I'm saying? You know, you have a dream, you work it. The band obviously is praying right, because they got the best situation going on back there. So, you know, that's the thing about Facebook and Twitter. You know, um, you know when you watch a movie and they say based on a true story, and then some movies you see it says inspired by actual events. There's a difference. So Facebook and Twitter is inspired by actual events. There is a show here. We sold out. Did everybody buy a ticket? <laughs> that started off the wobble in the in the wonderful video. Yeah. I know. Hot, hotter in person, right? Hotter in person. No? A little bit? Kind of, yeah, well, whatever. I don't care. Um, in addition to being a stand-up comedian, I'm actually an actress. I actually am an actress. I mostly do commercial work. Uh, maybe you guys have seen me. And, um, so, no. Not. Maybe. Not. No, I'm not the Popeye's chicken lady. <laughs> But I wish. <laughs> and she is getting paid, honey. On the fries and wings. If I could be the Popeye's chicken lady or like, I don't know, the pine saw lady, you know, I'm not I'm not too proud for that. But I do a lot of a lot of acting. But outside of commercials, I love to watch commercials. You know, anybody do y'all fast forward past commercials, y'all watch commercials? We all need to start watching them so maybe y'all can see me and then tell somebody that I was what you say? I saw you. You did? <laughs> that I see. Okay, don't keep talking. We'll follow up. <laughs> I mean, I'll follow. Wait a minute. This is the picture he put up? <laughs> this is the picture you put up of me? Oh, yeah. Wow, you are the absolute worst <laughs> in the world. Okay. It's, a cute wow. it's blurry. Is that why it's cute? <laughs> it's like, you're really pretty if I blink real fast. <laughs> Beautiful girl, you doing it. Whatever, Rod. I'm starting to hate you a little bit. Uh, but thanks, you know, for the opportunity. Um, now, I'm talking about commercials. I love watching commercials because I watch them and I probably pay too much attention to them anyway. Like if you see the, like the fabric softener commercials or like air freshener commercials, like that's just the most amazing thing in these people's house, right? And when they have air fresh commercial, they have like the mama and the daddy and grandma to get out of wheelchair. Everybody just right there at the air freshener. And I always look at those commercials and think, um, why don't they take just a few minutes and figure, what is taking so bad in the house? <laughs> yeah. That's the only place they can be. <laughs> this has nothing to do with it, but how does everybody know what dead rat smell like? You ever been describing something like, smell like dead rat? Everybody like, oh yeah, it's like everybody know. <laughs> dead rat smell. <laughs> if not, it's a few clubs I perform at. Y'all just go there and be like, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Um, it's hard being a female entertainer because, you know, body image issues and stuff. And, you know, y'all see, you know, guys really don't care what they look like. I mean, oh, no, not y'all. <laughs> but, you know, they <laughs> don't care what they look like when they go over there. And uh, as a female, I know y'all judge me, you know, beyond anything I'm saying. It's like, mm -hmm, you know. I blink real fast, she's cute. Yeah, I know, that's what you said. And um, uh, I always share with people that, you know, it's hard getting on stage and, I did struggle with body image issues. Um, I actually suffered from anorexia from a for a short time. Actually, it was just a, a nap, but I woke up hungry. <laughs> and so I got a sandwich. I didn't need therapy, but I was well, I was a little worried. I was old. I read about this <laughs> entertainment business. <laughs> I'm good. Though. I'm good. I'm back. <laughs> I didn't wear 
telling jokes to suck an idiot all at the same time. You know, it's, all, it's all good. I'm not going to be up here much longer. I just want to, I, I always like to leave people with a little nugget of information. You know, I am uh, struggling as a single woman in Atlanta, and men will say whatever. You know, I actually went on a date with a guy, and I don't know if he was trying to impress me or what, but on our first date, he was like, yeah, you know, I've really matured, you know, because when I was younger, I used to only go out with, like, you know, like, really, really pretty women. Oh. <laughs> I was like, do you know I can hear you? <laughs> but I understand. I mean, you do what you can. You do what you can. Um, <laughs> gonna get too much into my dating because I didn't see too many single men in here so it really don't matter. Really. Not, not so much. But one of the things that you wouldn't realize you have to worry about as a single woman, I was reading this on CNN.com after y'all Google Eunice, then Google this. Okay. Uh, koala bears <laughs> we're coming back we're coming back home with it. Uh, koala bears are actually becoming extinct because of two reasons. Okay people? Extreme heat and chlamydia. That's what I said. So I need to know, like, who is um, at the messing around with them koalas? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have enough to worry about as a single woman. Yeah, I got to worry about koalas. I mean, you know, you used to worry about your man coming home and smell like another woman's fragrance. Now it's like, hold up. I knew that it's not no eucalyptus. And I know you. <laughs> Y'all, that's my time. I'm Eunice. Come on, Ron. That's, that's how you can find me on Twitter and Facebook. Ask me all that. You gonna interview me now? You gonna interview me? Tell them where they can find you at. So all the stuff he didn't know about me. My name is Eunice. That's a true story. E-U-N-I-C-E. And last name is Elliot. That's my real name on Facebook, on Twitter. I have a website, EuniceWorld.com. I do work in football. I work for a football player. I run his nonprofit. His name is uh, D'Amico Ryans, and he plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. Played at Alabama real time. So you can go to D'Amico Ryans Foundation Network. That's my, my day job. Um, but give it up for Rod again for his, uh, you know, whatever. Y'all give it up for Eunice, man. That was hot. Oh, man. That was